In today's quick video, we'll look at how to extend the background in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. So I'm here in Affinity Photo, and I have this image here of a woman in a field. And I like this image as an example because it has an easy side and a harder side. So let's start with the easier side, which is the left side over here. The first thing we want to do is use the crop tool to extend our canvas. So I'll zoom out a bit here, and I'll select the crop tool over here. So I'll click that. And now we have this interface here. I'll drag the left side out this way. And there's about as much as I want to go. I'll click apply. And now we have this space over here that I want to fill in. Now I want to select the rectangle marquee tool. So I'll click this here. And it's this option here, rectangular marquee tool. And I'll select the area over here. It's okay if it overlaps your image a little bit. You'll actually want it to. Now that option I want is under the edit menu. So I'll select edit and I want to select in paint, but I can't. You may notice that it's grayed out for you as well. The reason this happens is because currently I have an image layer. And I can see that when I hover over my layer, it says image. We actually want this to be a pixel layer. That's what the inpainting tool needs. So I'll right click on my layer here and I'll select rasterize. And now if I hover over it, you can see it's actually a pixel layer. Now if I go back to my edit menu, inpainting is actually available and I'll click on it. And now we have our area filled in. Let me press control D to unselect. So it did a really nice job over here, but there's a couple things we can touch up. And to do that, I'll use the inpainting brush. So I'll select this brush here, inpainting brush. This is like what we just did, but it's in brush form. And typically what you want to do is look for seams and repetitions. So let me zoom in here. I can see a little bit of a straight edge around here. I'm just going to inpaint it and fix it. And there we go. It's gone. I see a little bit of straight edge on this cloud here. Let's get rid of that. I think that looks much better now. Now I can see some repetition in the clouds here. This part on the left here is the same as this part over here on the right. So I'll change my brush. And I'll just inpaint it again. Let's see what we get now. And now it looks different. If you look carefully at some of this wheat here, you can see some repetitions. This one here is the same as this one over here. So I'll just get rid of that. And that's our left side extended. Now let's do the right side. So you can see on the right side, we have less open area that's going to repeat well. But let's try it anyway and see what happens. So as before, I want to take the crop tool. Let's extend it sideways here. There's pretty good. I'll press enter. I'll select the rectangular tool again. I'll select my area here. Now we can access the inpainting tool through another menu option. I'll select edit and then we can choose fill and we have different options here. We can choose filling it with a color and we can choose inpainting and this is exactly the same. It's just a different menu option. So I'll click apply and you can see the result we got here. Let me unselect. So we have pretty good areas with the sky and the grass, but clearly this arm and the hat are a problem. So once again, let's go back to our inpainting tool. And let's try removing it. So it's starting to give us a better result. Sometimes you have to go over the same area a few times. And now it looks much better. Let's get rid of this other one. And it's pretty much gone. We're getting some repetition in the grass, so we can just randomly get rid of stuff. Let's get rid of that. Fix these over here. And let's compare our results. Before, after. So that's the basic method of extending a background in Affinity Photo. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered in a video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.